Okay, let's talk a little bit about subtools. There's a lot of stuff here. You can see the thumbnail for the image, uh, and that's just for that one subtool. And then you can see this whole series of buttons. And then we've got a paint icon and a visibility icon, and then the title. Okay, I'm delineating these for very specific reason. It's a little uh, detailed, but I'll, I'll explain it here in a second. So, uh, one, this thumbnail is, uh, actually should change. It's dynamic, and uh, it's basically the program just takes the snapshot of this in, in various positions. Um, these guys here, these are used for Boolean operations, if I'm spelling that right. And uh, when you're combining them, <coughs> they also have some use in terms of rendering uh, and transparency. Uh, this guy down here is the paint or the texture. Or if we really are very clear, this is poly paint. So that turns it on and off for that subtool. If you turn that off and you still have a texture, that means that down here you still have a texture listed. I'll show you that before we move on. And then the visibility icon right here. Now the problem most people get into is, and let's see if they fix this. You click here to select a subtool. Well, it looks like they fixed it. Yeah, so clicking to select, they did, good. The area was not right, but now we're in pretty solid shape. So you, uh, this was really, when I was there, we were discussing this. The question was, uh, how do you turn visibility on and off for these guys? And um, how do you just show one model? Let's say I want to select the eyes and see only the eyes. Well, if you click the eye icon, that's one way. But then you have to go in here and manually restart these, or you click the eye icon and you just invert that. You just show them all. So this is show only, show all. Of course, that's problematic, so we have a solo mode so that you're able to just use that. Now, solo mode has a hotkey of G, so we use that all the time. Real basic, but if you don't know this, it's very very important to kind of know this now the other thing to know is that if you press uh, N as in Nancy you get a subtool list here and it's basically the exact same list that you have over here in the subtool palette okay, same items just N as in Nancy and you can select them there if you press the space bar then you've also got subtools here and ideally can adjust to those, although it looks like that might be not functioning quite right. But you can definitely get them from N. Okay, reading questions? Steve, yeah. Okay. Nate will help you sort that out. The weird thing is, is if you want to turn the eyes off, this is kind of a problem. So the simple way that you do this, you have to kind of select something else and then turn it off. That's the simple way to do it. But you can also see that if you click that thumbnail or somewhere else close to it, it'll do that as well if it's selected. Okay, real quick, let's look at some of the management controls here. So you've got ways to move them up and down, and these are real straightforward, real simple. You can move this up and down, or you can just move what you've selected, move the selection itself up and down. So those are for different controls in there. Rename, pretty simple. Click on that to rename your model. Okay, auto reorder. Auto reorder is going to do things like make the subtools with less polygons up at the top, the subtools with more polygons at the bottom, or however that works. So in this case, the subtools with the least amount of polygons go to the bottom, and with the most up at the top. 
So this could be useful in some instances, especially like this, where you might have to select, um, or you might want to make it easier to select, say, the laces and organize and know which ones are the, the big things to worry about and which ones aren't. Delete, delete all, delete other, duplicate. The most common button that you're going to need, and you probably already know this, is just this append. And what append is going to do is literally create another subtool and add this guy in. And I mention that because you might also want to insert. So keep this in mind. We'll insert any tool below the selected subtool. So append is going to come all the way down to the bottom, add another one, insert, as it says, should be just pushing in right there, making it a little easier uh, for you. OK. Real simple, right? Not too terribly complicated. But now that we're comfortable, let's move on uh, to transpose. And what I'm going to do is turn the poly painting off for all of these. And uh, let's change our material to a matte cap gray and to white. So it's a little bit more legible. 